Hey everybody, Syntax77 back with you. Just doing another little update video here from the confines of my high-tech studio. The old V-dub here. Just a little uh, update video. Uh, I am uh, particularly tired today, so might not be the most high energy uh, video I've ever done in my life. I, uh, we got back from uh, Big Barrel Festival, which I mentioned in the last update video. We got back from that music festival around 2 a.m. this morning. And uh, as you can tell by my fancy attire, I am on my lunch break. So I did work today with my minimal sleep. So I am tired. Um, but that does mean that I did survive our June 3 Music Festival month. That is behind us now. Um, so Big Barrel was cool. That was country. And then before that, we had Firefly and Governor's Ball. So we've done just about every genre you can think of um, from EDM to country and rock. But it was a good time. So I'm back from that. Um, looking forward to getting into just some, uh, maybe some regular life, get some chores done, do some video editing, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Went all over the place with, uh, with music, everything from Skrillex to Hank three. It doesn't bother me as long as there's good people around. I'm having a good time. So, um, but that being said with that done and all that car camping for those festivals, which was, um, which was fun, but time to get back to, I'm going to start planning. Um, Next backpacking trip, which I mentioned before, I'm leaning towards probably doing, well, there originally was just TJ and I. Some people asked if Mike was going. We didn't know. Now he says he is. So Mike's going to be going, plus our friend Zeke, who a uh, Firefly friend of ours, who we've known um, since, uh, actually it's only been a year now, but pretty tight with him. So uh, he's going to do his first backpacking trip. So that'll be interesting. And then TJ, uh, we drug him up there in the winter. But now we're going to go up um, uh, in better weather. So I'm leaning towards the Pemi Loop. But if anybody out there with New Hampshire experience knows kind of a really nice loop to uh, give some people who haven't seen New Hampshire before a real taste of things. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking Pemi Loop. Um, at this point, we got five, potentially five people going. So actually, now that the more I think about it, um, we might end up with two vehicles, in which case um, maybe we could do like a shuttle end to end hike. Like two different vehicles, park at one end, park at the other, uh, drive back, start, and hike up. Uh, usually you don't see me do that sort of thing because um, I'm driving like nine hours. A lot of times I'm by myself anyway, but if I'm not, say it's just Mike and I, we're either driving nine hours south to the Smokies or something, or we're doing nine hours north to New Hampshire. And um, when you're driving that far, it's just, it's, you know, being in separate vehicles is a little rough. Um, gas mileage, of course, gas money isn't as friendly, but also just, you know, you want to have some conversation and, uh, and whatnot. So I often get jealous of people when they say they do this end to end hikes where they just uh, take two cars and they're only maybe an hour or two away from where they're going. But in this case, if we have two vehicles with all that gear and stuff, you know, that is a potential. There's the uh, pres presidential traverse is a popular one. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm leaning towards Pemi, but eh, let me know what you're thinking out there. Always open for suggestions. Um, probably going to be in like August or something. So having fun with that, doing the group planning. Um, what else? Oh, speaking of planning, uh, people often ask where I get my maps from. So um, here's a good topic. Um, usually what I do and what I say when I, when I get those comments, um, I do a Google image search. Really simple. That's what I do most of the time. Um, so I'll go on Google, and uh, if it's Shenandoah, I'll do Shenandoah trail map or a specific area of Shenandoah, Matthew's Arm trail map. Uh, start narrowing it down like that. And image search, and you usually get a bunch of hits. You'll get pictures of maps. You'll get actual official maps. Um, speaking of official maps, uh, good little trick that I've learned. Don't do the image search. Go back to a regular Google search. Um, do, say, Shenandoah map, Shenandoah trail map, followed by file type, no space, file type, colon, PDF. That'll narrow it down to only search results that are PDFs. And I found that PDF file format is usually a little more professional. Um, so it's probably going to be your official park service maps or whatever local people um, oversee that jurisdiction. So file type PDF in your area. It usually gets me good hits. Um, Otherwise, you know, a lot of the JPEGs and stuff that come back on regular image search are often your more homebrew uh, people, um, and those can work too. But between the two, I usually find what I'm looking for, so that answers that question. I also, um, probably a couple years ago at this point, 
did a video on trip planning. So not much has changed since then other than what I just told you about the image search. So feel free. I think you just put in Syntax 77 trip planning and um, you should get some hits back or just go right to my page and search. But there's a little video on that. So anybody interested, that comes up sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> man, my voice is hurting. Uh, I've been doing a lot of yelling and having fun. I apologize. Um, it just came back from the post office, which reminds me of another thing. Had some people ask, or somebody in particular asked a couple days ago before I went out away, um, am I still doing stickers or do I have any left? Um, and yeah, I definitely am still doing stickers. I'm going to continue and I do have them left. I got plenty of them. And if I do run out, I'm going to get more. So um, that wasn't a one-time thing. Um, I did a video before on it. Or just go to my website and click three stickers. It's a button right there. and give you the address. P.O. Box 8163, Wilmington, Delaware. 19803 for those of you who carry a pen everywhere. But yeah, send a self-addressed stamped envelope over there. Over there and um, I will hook you up with a sticker. So that's still going. And what else is going on? Not much. Really just uh, coming back and um, getting back into normal routine after all those uh, shows we saw. And, uh, yeah, planning for this trip in August. Not sure if I'm going to get a solo in between now and then in July. I don't know. Just because I've had so much going on, I might take a month off from any craziness. Plus, I have three videos to edit. I have another video with Sarah that we did in Shenandoah. I have the canoe trip I mentioned. And then Firefly, which I filmed um, since then. We'll do a video on that. So, that's, uh, that's what's going down there. Oh, um... Yeah, there's a picture of the sticker if you're interested. And, um, oh, I got a patch from, uh, got to give a shout out to Dave. I've been getting some cool stuff. People have been sending me stuff to trade for the stickers, which you don't have to do. Just send me an envelope, I'll send it. But that's kind of cool. Um, little patch from him, and his, uh, he's in a pistol club down in Virginia. So thank you, Dave, for that. And, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm rambling a little bit. I am tired, and I got to go back and finish this work day now. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll get editing, and hopefully we'll get some full-length videos out there for you soon. Thanks to everybody who follows and supports the channel. Until next time, I'm Syntax77. Right now, uh, it's not cheeseburger time. I'd probably fall asleep if I had one, but it's going back to work time. Have fun out there.